Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so I'm going to do this video. Um, I've been meaning to do it for a while. I did upload one yesterday of my 1911. I'm hoping this one's a little better quality because I've been playing with the settings on the camera. Um, so I'm going to grab my pistols real quick. I'm going to go over those and the holsters and stuff that I have with them. Um, tell you a little bit about them. And uh, I'll do another video later of uh, the rest of my gear. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning. Um, so let me grab my pistols real quick and I'll do those videos uh, and try hopefully to keep it under the 10 minute mark. Um, so let me grab those real quick. that I had first, which is the AJK semi-automatic non-blowback USP. Um, like I said, this is a semi-automatic pistol. Uh, it's non-blowback. It looks like it's supposed to be blowback, but it's not um, really made that way. It's a 16-round clip. Um, well, I'm on it. It is CO2 powered. I have a CO2 canister in there. I better get rid of that. Um, small polymer body has a single fire selection switch right here. Right there. Uh, that is not any dangerous because there is not one over here anywhere at all. Um, I can kind of see where one would be. But this gun, uh, if you buy it at Walmart, where I bought this one, it'll run you forty dollars. I've seen it online for sixty nine dollars. The exact same gun. It shoots three hundred. Well, when I had it first, it shot three hundred and I want to say three hundred and thirty FPS. Well, actually, probably three hundred and ten because I used twenties and seven volts. Um, but now. CO2 valve inside the clip here. I modified it. I bored out the holes so it releases more CO2, which increases the FPS. But it's like every modification, you get something, but you lose something. I don't get as many mag changes out of a single CO2 as I did before, which is fine by me, because I keep a lot with me. Um, I don't have a holster I use that for anymore. I had a black Crossman waist holster, generic holster. I didn't like it, so I upgraded to this. This is the Condor Outdoor um, Technical Leg Rig. The leg, the Technical Leg Rig itself is this bottom part right here. It's fully, it's full Molly. Uh, it costs. $17 um, off of Airsoft GI. Um, it was my first actual online buy. And it was a really good experience. Um, well, actually, I didn't buy it. It was bought for me. Um, I was straight to do it. He bought it for me while I was taking my bank account. I don't know why. Um, but as you can see, it is OD. Um, it, is, it, it is a drop leg, essentially, because it has this, but the buckle comes off. And you can just kind of run it however you want. Um, this back part here, where my finger is, right here, you can kind of see. There's no Velcro inside this, so when you put it on your belt, it won't get stuck. And but it won't move around, so it won't. But it, it, it's easy to use for that. Um, it's uh, I believe its rating was 600D, um, so it's, it's going to last a pretty good while. The same with the holster here, also a uh, condor. Um, I had it modified as well, right out of the box. 
So you had a double stitch. And here you see the double stitching. I had this stitch right here cut. Kind of widen the opening a little bit. It did not affect it at all because it still has its primary stitching in it, so it's not going to break. Uh, but I had that done because I plan on putting a tag light on the bottom of this, and it'll fit with plenty of room for the tag light. Because here's the bottom of the pistol right here. It has all this other room right here to play with. So there's plenty of room for the tag light. Um, it's a really nice setup. I like it. Um, I'm still getting used to it because, you know, it's a new feeling. But, um, and then my new one, I also did a video on already. So I'm not going to go into too much detail with this one because you can look at another video. But it is a uh, tie gear drop leg, an OD. It's an older model. Um, it has nylon straps here. An elastic here. Kind of bungee a little bit. Um, it has a built-in, kind of like uh, the other holster. It's, it has a, a clip pouch, like any other pistol uh, holster. But this one is sewn on. It's not modeled. I can't take it off. Um, I don't know what else to say. I've already did a video on it. But I will say again, it, it's still out of You can unwrap it and wrap it with a different size pistol. But I, I don't want to say you can put a Desert Eagle in this thing, but you probably can because that's just how versatile it is. Um, double straps, so it's not going to move around on, move around on your leg anywhere, bite at all. It's kind of odd when I run them, because I run them both at the same time, just for the look. They're both right-handed, and I'm right-handed. So I've got to wear this one backwards on my left leg, which is weird. But there's that. This will uh, yeah. uh, be at least got me. And this is my WeTech. This is a WeTech 1911 gas blowback pistol. Um, you can get it for $110 off of uh, pretty much any airsoft store um, site. Well, $109 and change, $110, you know, plus shipping and handling and stuff like that. Um, but what I like about it is it is so easy to take apart. And there's just a couple of seconds. I've been talking about it. I've already taken the gun completely apart. Um, I've got a couple of seconds left. Let's see what I can do. That's how easy it is. Um, I did a video already showing how to take it apart. Um, it was actually pretty pretty nice. I got it out of the trade. I traded a, um, a sniper for it. Because I told myself, if I traded the sniper, I liked it. But if I traded it, I would trade it for a gas load of that pistol. This is a gas load of pistol, and it's a WeTech, which they make really good gas load of pistols. Um, they're easy to take apart for maintenance and stuff like that. Um, they're really affordable. This, like I said, was $110. When you buy it, and you get um, two mags with it, 15-round um, magazines. Um, it does show wear and tear on it. Right here, you can see the paint's coming off there, and a couple of scratches here and there. That doesn't bother me. I know it's an old gun. Um, but what's important to me is the fact that it works. It's a 1911. You can't go wrong with it. Um, so, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I'll do one of my rifles later. And, uh, guys, be safe.